Good morning, folks. A quick bit of cleanup. We've seen multiple CMEs coming from our primary active region along with a good number of M-class solar flares and one X-class. We knew a combined CME was due yesterday. We're still waiting for it, but NOAA has updated to show some more small shockwaves emanating through the system. These are all minor, a word that also accurately describes the activity on our star the last day. Despite continued M-class flaring and surface surging, we didn't see another X-class flare, nor did we see solid ejecta from the M-flares. We are still taking the radio blackouts each time an M-flare occurs. That central sunspot group has had quite the ride so far came into view a bit reversed in polarity from that back portion, but now we see a triple umbra building towards the lead and each of those happens to be positively polarized. The negative elements of the delta spots are to the north with a gamma classification coming due to the red dot on the south. Also got these tiny spots behind towards the limb, and they're small, but hey, made more CMEs than our big boy the last day. Solar wind, as we said, still waiting for CMEs. The smooth calm setting in here is evident as electrons recovered nicely from yesterday's dive and the KP index approaches the floor once more. Our shield is calm. So the southern negative coronal hole exits and a positive opening comes in up north. The coronal holes appear dark here in 211 angstroms and unlike the equatorial extension we just saw, this one up there is building some solid force. The power is confined though as the IMF streaming out from the negative opening is dominant at least for the time being. Top quakes of the day were in Alaska, Guam, and Japan. We also had one on the mid-Atlantic ridge. Top stories, our galaxy is not just a spiral, it's corrugated wavy. A lot more area is taken up by the galactic disk than scientists previously thought, meaning our galaxy is fatter by as much as 50%. It's a pretty big margin. Link is below. Also, this is your seven-day eclipse warning. On the 20th, seven days from now, Europe and Northern Africa are going to get a beautiful sight. Details found in the link. Hubble has also discovered additional evidence of Ganymede's underground ocean. We'll revisit that on Deeper Look soon. Yesterday's second upload is a must-watch if you didn't catch it, found right below this video. And to continue number six, no, geoengineering is not the answer to climate change. Has been nice to see that sentiment echoed from a number of prominent scientists and groups. Last but not least, the Hawaii GMO case has been delayed. Labeling efforts in the Northeast could use a boost themselves as well. Let's hit the weather. The four Uyen storms surrounding Australia remain. The two on the east are heading towards water with the biggest one possibly reaching New Zealand eventually. Our western system has just been rolling down the coastline. And let's jump to our typhoon candidate up north still slated to head right over Guam. All locals need to be on alert power low in the southern U.S., working in tandem with another to the north that will shift eastward tonight and allow for thunderstorms, flooding, with more of that wintry stuff to the north. Enjoy the warmth while it lasts, folks. It's almost gone. In Europe, a lighter day prevails as well with a weaker convergence on land, one still out to sea, and now two southern systems sharing the energy down there. That'll leave all areas in less of harm's way, but barely and only until tomorrow. Scroll down and get your click on. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.